Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number 19. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to use the HTML attribute for cell padding and also for cell spacing. And the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the previous document open from the previous tutorial. And once you have that open, we're going to look for the opening table tag in our design here. So once you find the opening table tag, go ahead and click right after the one that's in quotes and go ahead and hit the spacebar key and we're gonna write the word cell padding equals and for our value we're gonna set it to maybe a 15 okay and again remember that's an HTML attribute so it comes in name value pairs and always put the value in quotes and let's go ahead and hit control s and let's go ahead and view this in our web browser and as you can see there's a lot more space between our table data which in this case is referring to our text and the inner rectangles that define our table. And if you don't see the difference from the previous tutorial, I'll go ahead and create some more distance between that so that you can see more visually what's happening here. So let's go ahead and set that to about a 40. That way it's really obvious what's changing. And go ahead and hit Control S, go back to our web browser, hit the refresh key, and you'll see that there's a much greater distance now between the table data text and the inner rectangles that define our table. So that's how you deal with cell padding. But let's go ahead and take a look at cell spacing. Go back to Notepad. And this time we're gonna click at the end of the 40 value, that's in quotes, hit the spacebar key, and write the word cell spacing. And we're gonna write equals, and in quotes we're gonna write 20. And then hit Control S, and go back to our web browser, hit the refresh key, and you'll see that the distance between our outer rectangle of the table and the inner rectangles, the distance is increased between those. So that's how you deal with cell spacing. So hopefully that helps you to understand cell padding and cell spacing a little bit better. And if it did, don't forget to embed, comment, subscribe, share, and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.